Good morning and welcome to Westridge Together at Easter. We are so grateful to see you this morning and want to invite you, whether you've done it or not before, would you please pause now and snap a picture of you, your family, your food, your outside, your flowers, whatever, as a way to just kind of wave at us and say, hey, we're here, we're with you. Uh, one of the hardest things about online church is the sense that it's hard to communicate that we're still together. And so we just wanna invite you to communicate that you are here and with us by engaging the hashtag Westridge together. You know, we also acknowledge that, again, this is probably not what you would have chosen for Easter. I'm guessing that most of us would have chosen to be able to get up, uh, get dressed, maybe have a special breakfast before rushing off to church, but then being able to come here and celebrate with our Westridge family. Uh, even being able to go outside and take the traditional picture by the budding rosebud trees. It's just hard to not get what we would have chosen. And sometimes that can inhibit the way that we're able to celebrate. As I've thought about that over the past couple of days, I think it's helped me to relate to how Jesus's family and friends must have felt that Easter weekend. I'm pretty sure that they probably wouldn't have chosen for him to have been arrested, to have been tried, to have been beaten and abused, and then of course, not to have been crucified up on the hill. I'm pretty sure that they would have chosen a different way. And yet aren't we so grateful that God didn't let them choose another way. And it's just helped me to have a little bit better perspective that even though this isn't what I would have chosen for this Easter 2020, I can have faith that God has good things for all of us and it doesn't change what did happen over 2000 years ago. In fact, it kind of accentuates what happened and it helps me to trust in the good that could be coming from this. So as we get ready to celebrate together, I just invite you into that space of admitting maybe the ways that you wouldn't have chosen this, but then proclaiming that God knows better and that we're gonna trust him. Because after all, uh, we wouldn't be able to celebrate Jesus being raised to new life if he hadn't first died on that cross. So let me pray for us. Dear Father, we're just grateful that you are a father who loves us so much that you don't always let us get our way, that you don't always let us choose. But we also confess that our hearts just naturally want that and that this morning many of us maybe are struggling with that we're struggling to celebrate because we're still grieving what we've lost in this process. And so as we move into our morning celebration, I just pray that you would help all of our hearts to submit to your direction, to your control, ultimately to your love and care of us. Help us to remember all of the ways that you've been faithful in the past and then to trust for your faithfulness in our future. Thank you, Jesus, for setting aside your own will, your own choices, in order to make all things new. And we pray that you would just continue that work now in our hearts. In fact, we just pray that you would make our hearts new as we trust you in new ways this Easter morning. In your name I pray, amen.